Anthony Ford with Kong Armor. I'm south of Cincinnati, Ohio in Walton, Kentucky. I'm going to show you guys how I restore joist rot. How I've treated it, how I've learned to treat it, um, and, and come in and do the sistering and all that. Uh, so that you can save your deck system if you do have joist rot like this, right? There's a special process that I put this through, through these rotten joists through. Beep. Where are they at? Here, let me show you. See these areas of rot here? I'm going to show you how I treat these. I solidify up this rot and kill this rot first before, before we add sisters. Um, that way, that doesn't spread and jump to the new to the new sister this one over here is real bad right so let me show you that process real quick what jeremy's doing right here is he's coming in with a compound that we call rot shot and i'll show it to you guys real quick it's just a clear compound and all it really is is it's just acetone with some acrylic in it the acetone evaporates and then it leaves the acrylic hardener on the old wood and covers it up. It penetrates down into these old pores of this wood. And when we're done here, it'll solidify this and make this wood like rock hard, right? The other thing that it does is it kills this rot. It kills this mildew. It kills the bacteria and the rust and the corrosion that's causing that, right? I'll show you here in a second how that hardens up. All right, so this is rot shot, and again, this is just an acetone compound with acrylic in it. When the acetone, when the, when the vehicle, which is acetone, it, it evaporates into the air, it leaves the acrylic down in the wood. This will actually penetrate down into the wood, into the rotten wood, okay? The acetone will evaporate, which is the vehicle, the delivery system. Then the acrylic, which is a hardener, will harden up down inside of that rotten wood and just make it rock hard. Also, it will um, it will kill any bacteria, any mildew, uh, mold, right? Um, and so, what I've been doing for years now with this joist rot is just taking it. And I'll just dab it up there on that rot. It ain't got to be perfect. But what, all we're trying to do is just kill that rot. We're trying to solidify that rot that's up there. Just make it rock hard. So that it doesn't continue. It doesn't continue going. Right? Because I'm getting ready to put. Jeremy's getting ready to put sisters up here on these joists. And I don't want. I want to kill this. I want any of the bacteria any of the mildew any of the mold to be gone i don't want it jumping from joist to joist so i want to eliminate this right here right now i want to kill it some people will treat with like bleach or something like that yeah that's good initially and it might kill it for a day or two but i want to kill it forever so i'm going to penetrate this acetone acrylic mixture down into the wood and just end its life in general this will cure up super super hard and now we can now we can bring a sister in through there all right that's good All right, so now we got this solidified up. So this rod up here, it's hard. It's, it's, it's super hard, right? You can see the protective barrier over it. Now, any type of, you see that gloss sheen to it? 
any type of mildew mold bacteria anything that tries is not going to be able to set up on that right because it's like acetone and acrylic it's not going to want to grow on that right so now we're going to come in and we're going to tag you see you see the gloss there too it's real hard almost like a rock we're going to tag another joist in here we're going to bring in another joist sister this joist up put some new fasteners through it good as new deck will be deck will be good as new there's a reason why when we bring in joists for a deck system there a re, there's a reason why we use two by tens we use two by twelves to leave us plenty of meat right so even though this has an area of rot at the top of it it's likely that if this wasn't even treated like if we didn't even bring in a joist and sister up to it there's no real threat here it still has eight more inches of solid solid protection from any type of failure right so you got to think basically this just didn't, just turned into a two by eight through here is basically all that's happened that's why we use these big thick uh, or big wide boards for for joists that's why we use these big wide boards for deck posts to allow for failure to allow for failure in small areas and there's still tons more support left even if this even if this deck post takes failure in a small area it still has tons and tons of support left that's why we use big large boards big large post in the structures of deck system deck systems to allow for this type of stuff right because we know it's going to happen right so we're going to sister these up but the thing about it is i've seen so many people this last year i've met with them and got quotations with them have small areas of, of rot in their joists like this very tiny very not a big deal right we're going to do this here where we just we just tag a, a new uh a sister board to the side of the joist look it runs all the way no big deal 15 20 minutes you're fixed up i've seen so many deck owners this year experiencing that tearing down their whole structures seriously somebody will come out and they'll talk them into uh going tear down to the frame 20 30 40 thousand dollars over this not necessary giant waste of money right all right now so all this rot in this joist we've solidified it all up so we came in with that acetone acrylic compound that we call rot shot we applied it to all that rot hardened that all up treated it killed all the bacteria killed all the mildew all the corrosion and stopped that reaction everything that was causing that wood to go soft and go bad we've killed all that right and we've also brought and we've just sistered them up here right so if you look pretty much everywhere where that where that rot was at we came in and we just added scabs they're all pretty much ledged up on this ledge we ran bolts through them this thing it's not going anywhere ever <laughs> i mean it's got you know it's got plenty and plenty of underside joist support now